high school choir from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, performing at this year's Dr. Martin Luther King Observance. More on that in just a moment. Also this week, meet the Maryland Principal of the Year. Leisure Travel is offering some giveaways, and the men's varsity basketball team is on a roll. These stories and more, but first, we're happy to announce the arrival of this year's installation guide. The 2017 cover features the special logo commemorating the fort's anticipated 100th anniversary. As always, you'll find a complete listing of garrison services, a phone directory, and much more. Copies will be available at sites all over Post, including the community centers and Post Housing. If you'd like to pick up one today, just stop by our office at 4409 Llewellyn Avenue. Organizations needing large numbers of guides should contact Larry Whitley here at the Garrison Public Affairs Office. In other news, Fort Meade Senior High's principal, Mr. John Yore, has been named Principal of the Year by the Maryland School Counselor Association. We spoke with a principal recently who gives credit to his entire school services team. When I accept this recognition, it's really around, around the work of an entire team, and particularly my student services and counseling team. This is the finest uh, student services team I've been able to assemble, and we've worked really hard to bring in, real, we've had very strong people, we brought in some very uh, great people, including the new social worker. Uh, and uh, they've been able to really provide a lot more services and supports to students and their families. One of the principal's hallmark philosophies is the need for 100% respectful interactions at the school. While he maintains he's never been anywhere where this was the case, it remains a goal. And when I talk about respectful interactions, I'm not just talking about students towards adults or students towards students. I'm talking about every interaction, uh, students toward adult, students towards students, adults towards students, adults toward each other. And that I'd like to extend that, and I've been talking a little bit more about that to our, in our entire school community. To be in a place where every interaction is respectful it is not something that we see every day. And, and it's something I believe is attainable if we're all committed to it. Principal Yor will be honored at the National School Counselors Recognition Gala February 3rd in Greenbelt. Meanwhile, Fort Meade's Equal Employment Opportunity Office hosted this year's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday Observance. This year's guest speaker was retired Army Major Robert Green. Green was a trailblazer in many ways. During his remarks, he related that he was the first black engineering officer in the Army. Green began his career in the early days in military racial integration. When I entered active duty, the military leaders and service secretaries finally had initiated efforts in September of 1951 to integrate the American black soldiers into units with white and Hispanic. The 1948 executive order was not carried out completely until September 1951 in Korea. In MWR News, Leisure Travel Services is offering a series of customer appreciation giveaways. The drawings are free to enter with no purchase required. In February, LTS is giving away tickets for a family of four to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. There's also a drawing for a pair of movie tickets. In March, you can win admission for four to the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore, or you can enter to win four tickets to the B&O Railroad Museum. April's drawing features tickets to medieval times. The drawings are on the last day of the month. Stop by Leisure Travel at 6530 York Avenue. That's across the street from Club Mead. Turning to sports, the Fort Meade Patriots men's varsity basketball team couldn't have asked for a better start to their conference season. Last weekend, they downed the defending Washington area military athletic conference champions, the Fort Lee Travelers. The contest was a seesaw affair with multiple lead changes. A layup by Darian Bethea closed the Patriots' halftime deficit to four. Midway through the second half, the Patriots fell behind by as many as seven points before storing back in the final minutes for a final score of 86 to 79. After the big win, Coach Cunningham likes his team's prospects for the rest of the season. We still got a long way to go, but this is a big step towards getting to the mountaintop. Great. So after today, what are your expectations for the rest of the season? I already told them, if you can beat them with that mental toughness the rest of the season, I won't expect anything less. And I told them, Fort Meade have always been able to score. I've been here 11 years. From 07 to 09, we pretty much ruled the Eastern Seaboard. But we had a lot of defenders and a lot of unselfish ball players. I told them if they defend and become unselfish and trust each other, it's going to take a really good team to beat us. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.